Hello and welcome to WKP. In this video, we're going to be tracking the tropics. There are three new disturbances, one over the Caribbean, one over the Atlantic, and one over Africa. Two of them, disturbance one and disturbance three, the U.S. should watch carefully. Though I do not predict these will pose a threat for the U.S., it's still good to keep an eye on them. Do not worry about these storms, though. We're going to start off with disturbance number three, which has a 20% chance of forming within the next 48 hours. But within the next five days, it has an 80% chance of forming, and gradual development is possible after it moves off of Africa. Disturbance number one has a 60% chance of forming in the next 48 hours, and within the next five days, a 90% chance of forming. So this one has a quite high chance of forming. And while it moves westward to west north northwestward, a tropical depression is likely to form late this weekend or early next week. Now we have our biggest one we all need to worry about, disturbance number two, with a 10% chance of forming. No, we don't need to worry about this. This storm will likely die off when the, within the next couple of days. Now let's take a look at the CMC model. This doesn't have very much forming within the next couple of days, as you can see a few tropical lows. But within the week, one of the tropical lows d turns into a tropical storm. And this one strengthens eventually into what looks like a possible hurricane. And as we go on out through the week, two new tropical disturbances. One of them, this one right here, I'm waving the mouse over, the GFS predicted to get very close to the U.S. coast as a hurricane. I do not predict that is likely. I predict if we do see a hurricane out of this, it will be anywhere from a Category 1 to a Category 2. And the U.S. should watch this one, but again, do not worry. The windy weather map does show a storm coming not, not close to the U.S. coast. This is what the GFS was predicting, a storm to move toward the U.S. coast and then veer away from it. So that's likely what will happen. This will get close to the Dominican Republic, possibly hit the Dominican Republic and veer away from the U.S. So if you live in the D Dominican Republic, keep an eye on this storm. So what's the water temperature going to be like? The water temperature is one of the main factors for tropical development. Most places are about 29 degrees Celsius in the Atlantic, which is about 85 degrees. Some range around 30 degrees Celsius. So the tropics are kind of heating up. We should keep a close eye on them, but there will be more on the Atlantic tropics in the next video. C please keep a close eye on this weather, but do not worry. And this evening, I'll have another video, but on um, Typhoon Haishen. Thank you for everybody for watching. Bye.